G'day. Let me derive now a formula that many consider a mandatory part of a quadratics course. To me, it's optional. We've been doing the box method, the box method's just fine, and the box method will never let you down. But people want me to say, OK, students, here's a general formula for solving equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And note they put equals 0. If I have an equation that has equals 7 or something, I've never fussed about the numbers with the box method, they're going to say subtract 7 from both sides, jump, put it in with the c, and then make it an equation equal to 0 instead. All right, there is a general formula for this. And like I said, I'm going to prove to you the box method will never let you down, because I'm going to do the box method on this. All right, so what does the box method say? Well, we might not have a perfect square here. So let's multiply everything through by a to make the very first term a perfect square. a squared x squared plus abx plus ac equals 0. 0 times a is 0. And there's a chance that ab might be, ob might be an odd number. So just to obviate that issue, I'll also do what we did before, multiply through by 4. 4a squared x squared plus 4abx plus 4ac equals 4 times 0. 0. And I think we're all set for the box method on this now. So let me draw the box. 4a squared x squared. 4a squared x squared. Is it a perfect square? Yep, we set up this way. It's 2ax times 2ax. 2ax times 2ax. I want two pieces of the same that add up to 4abx. Two pieces of the same, so it must be 2abx and 2abx. They indeed add up to 4abx's. All right, carry on with the box method. Never let you down. Something times 2ax is 2abx. All right, well, that's a b and a b. 2abx is given by b times 2ax, which means the number we want is b times b, b squared. Um, I have a little panic moment because I don't have b squared. I have 4ac instead. Well, like I said, I keep saying over and over again, I'm an adult, I can do whatever I like and make it happen. I want a b squared there. So let's subtract 4ac from both sides, get out of the way, and put a b squared in on both sides, add b squared. So I've got now, it looks messy, but conceptually it's just the box method, 4a squared x squared plus 4abx plus b squared, well, that cancels out nicely, is a b squared minus 4ac and a zero. That's b squared minus 4ac. All right, why do I like that? Well, that's all the parts of a square. And what square is it? It's the 2ax plus b inches squared. Whoop, doo -doo -doo. So it's really 2ax plus b squared equals b squared minus 4ac. Okay, I'm just pushing on with the box method. Everything we've been doing in part two just follows on just fine. Um, okay, let's see. So something squared is b squared minus 4ac. So my something better be either the square root of b squared minus 4ac or the negative version, whoops, or the negative version of the square root of b squared minus 4ac. All right, now my job is to get x all by itself. I've got a little plus b through here, so let's add negative b throughout. 2ax plus negative b, cancel out with the plus b, is negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac or negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. I could put the negative b at the end, but people have a predilection to put in the negative b first and then do the plus or the minus the square root. Um, 2ax equals that. Let's divide through by x, uh, sorry, by 2a to get x. I get negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, or x is negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And there we have it. Let me just change the colors. Let's make it like bright, glorious pink. There is the answer to the most general quadratic equation you could possibly write. Numbers a, b, and c, there's the formula for the answer. In fact, most people put this in one symbol. x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That is actually lovely. But notice, it's just the box method. So everything you're doing with the box method really is this quadratic formula, but I understand what I'm doing with the box method. You can memorize this. You can sing a song to help you memorize this. It just makes me shiver when people do that. Why not just do the box method? And if you need to know this, you can just actually derive it again for yourself. The power of having the knowledge behind this formula. And you know, the curriculum really labors this. They want to give names for the stuff under the square root and notice all sorts of properties of this thing. <laughs> As we'll see, everything you want to do can be done by not knowing this formula, just use the box method for the algebra. And as we'll see, we've got other techniques involving symmetry, of course, for the graphing of these things. 
That's the next part of this course. All right, there's the quadratic formula, the famous quadratic formula. Thanks.